Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again. Thanks for watching us on Celebrating Act Two. Uh, as you know from the titles, this is our founders vlog. Vlog. That's with a V. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is where Art and I get to discuss and solve the problems of the world. The world Am I right, right. Art? It is. Yeah, right. the whole world. That was assigned to us. Uh, uh, we have uh, spouses who take care of the other things in life which are important. Well, we get to yeah. take care of the world. Sure. I, for instance, my wife takes care of things like the budget and and uh, the household and and my life, <laughs> and I get to solve the problem like the Middle East. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, and so, things like that. So far, let's talk about something else that you may be more successful in. Uh, but I have I have an admission to make to you, John. Okay. I'm I'm officially, officially, uh, to you in the world, coming out of the driveway. Oh, uh, you mean the COVID-19 fence is going down? The COVID-19 Instacart delivery and kids buying stuff from us driveway. Wow. So you're actually going within six feet of people. Not even closer than six feet, but you're going maybe up to six feet. I'm, I've not only gone out of the driveway, although don't get too, too excited about uh, thinking you have a total convert. Uh, I've been going out to uh, senior hour shopping. Oh, those, uh, yeah, that's great, isn't it? Because, you know, I'm an early guy anyway, so 6 yeah. o'clock in the morning to me is like an exciting time, even though it's a little late. I used to be in the gym at uh, oh, yeah. 6 a.m. And, and, uh, back when not, you could not, go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, not to worry. I probably won't be going back to the gym for a long time, uh, as long as I have metal things that germs live on forever. But yeah. anyway, getting back to the to topic, uh, you've been you've been out and about, in a manner of speaking. Well, well that's true. You and I are very different. Yeah. We've talked about this a number of times. Yep. Um, you have been much more conservative about protecting yourself from the COVID virus than than I have, and um, and the difference is really attitude. I I don't. I, God bless you. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. But you've been wiping down the boxes of the food when it's delivered. Yep. You've been wiping down the cans. Uh, you've been waving to your kids from the driveway. They were in the car, that kind of thing. Meantime, I've been going to the grocery store, bringing the groceries home. I wear a mask at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I don't go if it's particularly crowded. Uh, but I'm not wiping anything down. I'm hugging my grandkids. Uh, I know where they've been. I know who they've been playing with. And... Uh, I don't check their temperature, but I kind of know what kind of health they're in, well, so they're I'm not, not taking. But they don't know. I don't who, see that as taking a risk. Yeah, they don't know who you've been playing with, and the whole <laughs> the whole thing about the masks essentially is not to protect you. You might think it is, and therefore selfishly you wear a mask to protect yourself. But I see the mask as primarily protecting other people, and to the extent I protect myself is I use. I think I told you I put a coffee filter inside right. my mask, which I right. uh, had read, provides some degree of inbound protection. Sure. I'm, more, more, unless you have a COVID, what is it there? What's the mask there? N95. N95? N as in, have, yeah, N95. Have you had one of those? Have you tried to breathe through those? Those are really difficult. Right. Actually, I had a whole bunch of the garage, maybe eight or nine from a project I did 15 years ago when I accidentally got <laughs> the best mask they had uh, at uh, uh, Lowe's or where I was shopping at the time. Sure. Uh, so I, I had some same. of them left over, but they are they are more difficult to breathe in. Uh, yeah, and the and the masks we have now, I'm looking. I don't think I have it right here. Um, the masks we have now are made by a friend of my daughter's, and yeah. they're they're good. They're made but out they're of cloth. Not, they're made out of cloth. Yeah, they're just made out of two or three layers of cloth. They're not going to protect you like an N95. Plus, they that but they do. They do wrap around your face, right. which is important. My, my you know, concern, those by the way, surgical masks we, that go we over also, your ears, yeah, they don't do we much. Even, we even discussed um, the other day that I was thinking about wearing uh, goggles of some kind because the reason why uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of the concern about people going out into public is that you get something on in your hand and we, we tend to t touch our face, touch you know, face, yeah. and, yeah. and that the, the, uh, germs can actually, they're more concerned about it getting in through your eyes. 
the, the, the liquid in your eyes, which is why. Well, any place. Yeah. So, I mean. That's why I wear pants, uh, you know. I, you've sawed it you again. You never know where it's going to get in. You've sawed it again, John, have you? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Listen, let's go for the first. I'm sorry we got off topic. This is like on number 13, but the first seven, if you want to go back now and watch the first seven blogs, okay, John yeah. was commando yeah. from the waist down. Uh, but uh, All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's get back on topic. Oh, okay. The, the, so anyway, the, I'm out of so the, I'm the officially out of the driveway. You're going out to the store. As, all right. It's during senior hours. Yeah, and you're using senior hours right. and you're wearing masks and and how is it at the store during senior hours? So the interesting thing is since I'm a, an early kind of guy, I n normally get there a few minutes before they open anyway. And you can see, uh, and I've been to Trader Joe's, State of Brothers, um, and Ralph's at various points over the last okay, so couple of weeks. So those just for anybody watching outside of the of West Coast, those are all the big chains. Right, well, uh, 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 Ralph's and Kroger's. State. Uh, yeah. uh, and yes, to, to wherever they are. But I'm sure that's true all over the country. But what they've done is every one of them have, uh, and I was even at a, a Walmart food store only uh, version uh, uh, in Ladera Ranch, also down here someplace, um, for those of you on the East Coast. But uh, every employee who tried to get in the store had a thermometer put to their head. Good. Okay, they had um, uh, some of the stores, um, uh, there was somebody outside spraying the wagons with a disinfectant. I've, I've seen that. Right. And I go out during the day. I don't okay. bother with the senior uh, out. But, but. but uh, you saw, so they they test the employees. They have little marks on the ground to that uh, right. at Trader Joe's. I happened to get there sure. and there were about eight people there already. And there yeah. were little and all the stores, the they have that. Yeah, they have yep. excess on the ground. And it just wasn't very crowded. So I felt very comfortable. Everybody wearing, um, all the, all the uh, uh, employees were wearing masks, which you probably see when you go out later Sure. in most of the stores. And that wasn't sure. true weeks ago before even this all started, uh, they was started talking about possibly sheltering in place. Uh, some stores, they wore them. Some stores, they didn't. I think it's universal now. So anyway, I'm more comfortable doing that. As Quite frankly, I feel more comfortable doing that than having Instacart come in because they're getting the same stuff that I can find in the store. Okay, half the time, not half, maybe 10% of the time, it's wrong. But what can you do because they've picked it up and maybe you didn't. Right talk about it correctly i also by the way uh, uh for years of uh providing food service at various productions that i did i, yeah. I had a couple of boxes of those uh, little flimsy five mil thick uh, uh food service cool. uh, gloves and i gloves, wear them yeah. going in uh to yeah. the store so yeah uh, so the point is that i'm evolving you the place are that, that and, you and have i been. And i congratulate you not only for evolving for for being more adventurous, if you will, mm -hmm. but for doing it in a way that is comfortable for you. Yep. Um, so there's lots of people like you that are much more cautious about everything than I am. And um, and those people, I hope, are like you in that they're taking the chances now and they're starting to move out and get circulating around society and taking more risks, if you want to call it that. Now, have you been to My a restaurant? Attitude, have you been to a restaurant yet? Because I know you're a trailblazer here. I'm about to. This Ooh. week, we're probably going to go to a restaurant. Where? So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. Uh, must have been probably only a week ago because this is re recent in California. Uh, restaurants have been allowed to open their dining rooms with a lot of restrictions. The restrictions are basically it uh, can't be more than half full and you can't have more than four people at a table. And the servers, of course, have to wear masks and yada, yada, yada. So I went to pick up a pizza, which, by the way, uh, you know, is the same thing. Six feet apart, the lines are on the ground outside the building. Mm. Uh, they call your name, you go in, you pay for your pizza and pick it up and leave. Everybody's got masks right. outside, inside, everywhere. Um, but the last time I did this, uh, the, the dining room was open. Mm. And I said, hey, your dining room is open. She said, yeah, we, she told, talked about the restrictions. And I said, that's interesting. I'll have to think about coming then. Um, now, that's a pizza place. I'm not interested in go sitting and having pizza at that place as much as I am interested at going to a nice Italian restaurant, let's say, 
or a good Chinese restaurant and uh, sitting down and having a nice dinner. Well, uh, not necessarily a candlelight dinner, I, but a I real have, dinner. I have another admission to make as long okay, as I'm out of the driveway. Uh, after about nine weeks of quarantine, uh, I forgot what the occasion was. It may have just been nine weeks. <laughs> Celebrating oh, nine weeks. Uh, yeah. We ordered from our favorite Chinese restaurant. Uh, Good for you. And, uh, was that your first takeout during first, COVID-19? First takeout. See, now, that again, just for comparison's sake, mm -hmm. we've been taken out all along from various restaurants. Um, if they were serving, we were buying. But that's not the same thing as going out to dinner. And so this week, my son-in-law told me that he went last week to a little Italian restaurant down the street called Uncle Tony's. Mm. And I said, oh, they open. I, did, I thought they were closed. It's a very small place. He said, yeah, and the food's delicious. So that's probably where we'll go to dinner, Some maybe later this week, something like that. So I have no qualms about doing that. We we look at it this way. We take intelligent precautions. We, we are not as cautious as you are, but we do wear the masks. We want to know that everybody else is wearing the mask. Um, and we don't go into places where there's going to be crowds of people without masks you know so we all the stores we've been to from costco to home depot to grocery stores everybody's worn a mask and this we don't go to senior hour just for convenience purposes right. we go whenever we feel like it and uh, we've had no problem with people standing in line um, on the bigger stores they're limiting how many people can be in the store at a time so you're waiting online uh, you know, uh, okay, next two, are you three? Okay, it's like getting a table at a restaurant. It's how many are allowed, allowed in at a certain time? So it's worked out fine for us. Our, our, our problem is, I think, we, we're very close to the grandkids because they live up the hill from us. So as they go to, and baseball is opening up now. We're, I got told that in two or three weeks, end of June, the kids are going to be playing baseball. All right, so that means... Tomorrow, they're going to go out and practice in small groups. So as that happens, the real question is, are these kids now going to be bringing back uh, the virus? Right. Because that's that's the real problem, is kids pick up every virus known to man, and they spread it around. It, that's how we all get holes. Uh, so that's where we're going to be cautious. Now, we're going to be checking much more carefully the family health. Yeah. And not going to be doing a lot of hugging if we don't think they're healthy, you know, or maybe we don't visit until we, until they get over the cold. So, you know what, I think, what the, I think this shows is I, that the, between the two of us, we're, we're quite frankly probably not at the extreme of either end, okay? Oh, I don't think be so. Because, we're wearing, because we're there, being, but it's attitude. There are people that it's are attitude. running around uh, without masks on. I've seen a few because at my hour, I see probably less than you might when you go out to your shopping. Uh, but there are some people who are just assuming that they get it, they get it, they don't, they don't. Uh, uh, or there are other people that, uh, you know, quite frankly, had I not started venturing out to the early morning uh, shopping. Uh, I could have been okay because I have some alternatives, especially with the kids. Uh, uh, I have uh, uh, I have grandkids in the, in the uh, 20s, uh, as well as uh, uh, my uh, my son uh, lives uh, not too far away, like within five miles north or south of me. I have a son and a daughter who who live nearby, and they go shopping once a week anyway for themselves. So right. we didn't have to, but it just felt right with masks to go do that. But there are other people who I'm sure, uh, if they had a choice, would would not be going out. And there are other people who are going out to the beach and they're going out to doing all sorts of activities, right. even without masks, right. without social distancing. So uh, uh, we, I think we're representative of uh, a lot of our viewers and we'd like to hear uh, what, I, you, what you folks think is the right, right thing to do. Yeah, I agree. I, there's a, a lot a large diversity of thought attitude mm -hmm. not just thought but attitude towards how safe do i have to be and how safe do i think it is to 
risk being near other people. Right. Um, I have not seen anybody our age, over anybody over 60, without a mask in public, mm. to be real honest. No, I, I, what I've seen either. in public, what I've seen in public is younger people, meaning sometimes 40, uh, and kids not wearing masks when they're not in a, when they're not close to people. In other words, they're walking down the sidewalk, some guy will have his mask off. Right. And he doesn't, he doesn't pick it up and put it on as he passes you, which is, I think, the whole point of this stuff. All right. Yep. Um, nobody wants, likes wearing the mask all the time, but if you're out in public and you take it off, then put it back on. When I go to um, uh, physical therapy, the trainers all have masks right. and I wear a mask. I can't do a lot of cardio with the mask on. I just can't breathe. You know, I can't get yeah. enough air. So she steps back and I take the mask down and I'm pumping my cardio going and that's fine. I put the mask up when we finish. Mm. Um, it's And they're wiping stuff down. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of different attitudes and a lot of people working in different ways, but you got to do what's comfortable for you. Well, you know what's really good is that um, uh, with all our experiences that we're, we're putting down here, and these will live here forever uh, on our vlog, on our, play, okay. on our playlist, okay. is that oh, during no. the one, uh, three or four or five weeks from now, when we see how this continues to develop, and what was right. maybe it was there a smarter way one way or the other? And we find out we'll be talking about that as well. So for the next pandemic, people will be better prepared. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll we'll realize how stupid we were. But you know something, then, you know something, John. I am really continuing to enjoy my act too, and uh, we're getting more subscribers every day, and. Uh, uh, I just, well, I'm just loving it, and and even getting remarks. We got a remark from one person who asked me, "Does your partner John put fruit on his pizza?" So you know that we're getting people actually paying attention, I, and for the world to know, John, let them know. Do you put? I I don't know if putting fruit on your pizza is a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm kind of loath to answer, but the answer is. Pepperoni and sausage. That's there you go. And every and every once in a while a vegetarian pizza. Okay, oh, but no. with a cauliflower uh, crust. That yeah, that Hawaiian nice. pizza never no. made it for me. Sorry. Okay, so yeah. we've actually answered. Venturing out of the driveway is one thing, but fruit on your yes. pizza is just verboten. Oh, let's <laughs> we, not go too far, really. Well, That's we agree on a lot. Of, we agree on a lot more stuff than we let on. <laughs> Maybe after the pandemic is over, I'll put uh, fruit on my pizza. You, you may, that's all that you may have left <laughs> to do. <laughs> anyway, hey, I, listen, I think, everybody. I think we've overstayed our welcome. I, I was going to say to, to to our people watching, thank you for watching, uh, and thank you for putting up with Art's really weird uh, conversation. I my half of the conversation made a lot of sense, but. Uh, Hey, sure. that's what it is. And by the way, uh, I, arts. And I thank and I thank all of you for letting me outing myself out of the driveway uh, in this such a public way with Admit, my, my friend, admitting my, that my you friends actually, and our audience. Yeah, admitting that you actually go to the store now. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Well, stay healthy, Art. You too, John. And do it in your own way. That's what I say. And you know what I am looking forward to, though. I, we What's should that? end this already. We need to. Uh, John and I live about fifty <laughs> we miles. Too much fun. We, li we, li we live about fifty miles apart, uh, but right. we have a place that we generally like to meet. Uh, we had been yes. meeting once a week for for lunch when uh, we were yeah. We ought to yeah. find a parking lot someplace, and just yeah. drive up and yeah. have like a tailgate visit. And you know, but 12, stay in the car. Six, eight, yeah. twelve. No, six, eight, twelve feet. I uh, take a folding chair out. We can sit in a parking lot. Oh, I see. I mean, just you know, baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for us to get to lunch again. Uh, yeah, I am. I am waiting for that as yeah. well. Uh, well. We'll meet for lunch sometime soon. Well, you know, we're pretty soon going to find out how you survive your restaurants. And That's right. Unfortunately, uh, well, it's not going to be soup plantation. No, it's. I don't think so. Topic for another Sorry. conversation. Anyway, there no, no, no buffets. Oh, by the way, as just because of no buffets, you mentioned earlier. 
uh, in your career, having produced films and videos and as a producer, having to provide um, food for craft the crew. Service, craft services, right. The, the classic crew meal was a big buffet. You yeah. know, you'd have, even if it was catered, you'd have somebody there uh, passing out. Well, one of the new rules about Hollywood opening up Box is there will be no, there will be no food served buffet style. Mm. Well, I, the, I guess the, that's, that's the end of uh, a filmed entertainment as we know it. <laughs> okay, because it'll have to be crewless. <laughs> I know, I know. Craft services is a, is a dead business now without a buffet. I don't. Okay. All right, listen. Art, it's great to see you again. And uh, thanks for sharing your coming out party. Thank you. And th thank you for being open to that. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we All right, we, ought well. to, we ought to let the closing credits happen real soon. Yeah, and and but last word to the people watching, please stay healthy, uh, please protect yourselves, and as Art points out, protect others. Right, right? by wearing a mask. Uh, it well, and other things. It ain't yeah. over yet. We'll see. You know, it, things are opening up. Such an, op to be such an optimist. It ain't over yet. <laughs> Uh, you're Unfortunately, becoming, that's true. We're switching spots. Unfortunately, it is true. Stay safe. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Take care, Art. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.